Hey guys and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to jump right into it and talk about my first trimester symptoms, what I did and how I got through it, and maybe give you guys some tips. So without further ado, let's go. So like I told you, I found out early on when I was pregnant, way before, maybe like a day um, before I missed my period. So I was about three to four weeks pregnant. Um, the sickness kicked in immediately a week after that so I was about five weeks in a day once I seen my baby on the ultrasound and my uterus five weeks in a day is when I was man down I, I wrote it down I jotted it in my phone because I do not want to miss any of my symptoms that I have experienced it was rough y'all so from weeks four to eight um, well from weeks four weeks four to five I was eating good I was fine increased appetite all that good stuff weeks five six seven eight appetite was gone um i started to experience like a really disgusting sickness feeling in the bottom of my stomach like almost like when you feel sick to your stomach like literally like that it wouldn't go away along with a nasty sour disgusting taste in the back of my throat and i'm not talking about like bad breath taste i'm talking about like i was sucking on lemons and warheads and it was in the back of my throat like literally it would not get off my tongue some women experience the metallic taste in their mouth, but this was sour and disgusting. It was just the worst. Um, around week seven, I mean, yeah, definitely like around week six and seven, my appetite disappeared. I was no longer hungry. I started to feel very, very nauseated, and I was living off of crackers and ginger ale. Ginger ale, till this day, I don't want ginger ale. I was drinking it day in day out i couldn't stomach water i couldn't stomach juice i could barely even chew my food so i was taking pieces of the crackers putting it on my tongue and letting my saliva like melt it so go down my throat that's how bad it was for me mm, i also experienced a lot of gas burping passing gas from the bottom it was ridiculous i kept burping all day i don't know if it's because my stomach was empty or that's just part of pregnancy but i was burping 24 7 it got to the point where I was so dehydrated and sick, I wasn't getting enough nutrients that I had to go to the hospital. I mean, I was there about three times during my first trimester. Hospitalized, IVs, three bags of fluids. They even had a pharmacy break down vitamins and minerals into a liquid form for me because I was that dehydrated. They couldn't get any blood for me. It was just like drip drop. It was no blood was coming out to even draw tubes of blood for me. That's how dehydrated I was. Um... It was pretty bad for me. So all I could really do was just lay in my bed. I felt lifeless. Um, between weeks 8 and 10, I started dry heaving. I wasn't actually vomiting. But I feel like when you, you know, dry heave like that, it's worse because you're, you're like, you know, you feel that feeling in your stomach, but nothing's coming out. My sense of smell was just so bad. I couldn't even stand my husband, my love. His smell was disgusting. Hair products, forget about it. My hair was matted in a bun for the whole first trimester, body washes, deodorants, toothpaste. I couldn't brush my teeth. Every time I tried to put the toothpaste, I was gagging. It was it was so bad. Like everything I used was like had to be non scented. I couldn't even go in my kitchen. My husband was the chef. My babe did his thing for me and the kids. All I could really tolerate was eggs, which is don't even ask me because I don't like eggs. Eggs and tuna fish. What a combination. But yeah, that's all I could really stomach. Um my boobs were on they were on fire it felt like somebody was taking a lighter a lighter and holding them on my poor nipples and so all i would do was just you know sleep sleep without a bra or you know be braless let them swing i was in the bed anyway so i didn't really care you know to lay on them hurt even to like try to take a shower hurt every any anything that touched my boobs it was bad um so yeah I was still dealing with the sour lemon taste. I didn't know what to do and the nausea and the loss of appetite. So I went on Google. Google was my best friend and I tried to use salt water and I gargled with that. And that definitely took the sour taste out for about 10 minutes, but it was better than nothing. I read that, you know, if you get sugar-free candy, that would help too. So my husband, he went out and bought so many Jolly Ranchers, sugar-free gum. He was just so good to me just to try to help me to be able to cope because morning sickness is just not morning sickness. It's literally all day long, 24 hours in a day. I was suffering. It was it was terrible. Um, 
but I had to deal with it. It's something that we chose to do and I knew that it was a temporary thing. So, you know, I lived off of, like I said, ginger ale. You should try ginger tea and chamomile tea. That definitely helps the digestive system. It helps to, you know, help with nausea. My OBGYN also told me to try out Unisom, which is a sleeping aid mixed with vitamin B6 that is known to help, um, you know, morning sickness. Some people say it helps. For me, it didn't really do much. It made me sleepy and I was already sleepy. That was another symptom um, during first trimester is fatigue. I mean, it felt like somebody gave me some drugs and I don't do no drugs, but it felt like literally somebody drugged me. I was just so tired. I slept all day. Even when I slept, and I slept a good amount of hours. I would wake up and still feel like I need to lay back down. It was like that. Um, so, yeah, your girl was going through it. Um, I looked bad. I felt bad. My lips were chapped. My hair was nappy. I didn't care about nothing. I didn't care about nothing. I just wanted to feel better. I wanted this to pass so I could be back to myself. Um, I started to feel down, I guess is a part of it, once another symptom, a very emotional, very sensitive, super sensitive. You could say something to me and I start crying and you know, that's something that was kind of annoying because I couldn't control it, but that's part of it. Um, yeah, so during weeks 10 to 12, I started urinating more, you know, your stomach's getting bigger, there's a baby growing in it. So frequent urination, make sure that you're near bathroom all the time because I couldn't hold my pee. I pee anywhere. Like, it is bad. Um, um, during weeks 10 to 12, I started feeling a little bit better. I was able to stand up more, get out a little bit. Not really stand up for too long, but I was able to interact with my kids more. And that was the hardest part for me, not being able to be mommy for them. Not being able to, you know, cook and do their hair and drive them to school like I would. But daddy held it down. I also experienced very weird, vivid dreams. Very, very weird, vivid dreams. I don't know why. But, yeah, overall, that's exactly what happened to me. But your girl's back like I never left. And I'm so excited to enjoy this pregnancy. It gets better, guys. Don't worry. It's not going to stay like this forever. And you will have a beautiful blessing at the end. Um, so, yeah, I hope this video was helpful to anybody that's, you know, going through a tough time with their first trimester pregnancy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more pregnancy vlogs like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. Don't forget to comment. And subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.